Okay, so initially starting off this video, I thought I'd be doing my most worn items, my favorites for like the year, last year, but that didn't really make sense because I didn't go out that much last year and I'm just in a different headspace now. However, I thought because I am a shoe girl, I would compile a list of my most frequently bought shoes and just talk to you about my shoes because that's what I love to do. I love talking about shoes online, not in person. If someone comes up to me and starts talking about bags and shoes, I'm just like, no. I know a lot of people think that I'm this superficial person that I just appreciate materialistic things so much that all I wanna do is talk about bags and shoes. Honestly, no. If you've been following me for a while, it'll come as no surprise that this Okay, so this is gonna be a two-part video because when I first started filming this, I was like, there's actually not too many shoes. It should be fine. I can film it in two days. Two weeks later, I'm pulling out shoes from the back of my closet thinking, probably should include these because even though they're shoes I don't really wear as often, they are still shoes I've repurchased. Stay tuned for part two because part two is probably gonna be more exciting because these are shoes I've repurchased over the years and not really worn in recent years. I'm looking at these shoes thinking, what was I thinking? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These Chanel shoes are probably one of my most frequently bought items, particularly from Chanel. I am obsessed. This is like a classic Air Force One, but Chanel. If you look at this disgusting pair of shoes, you'd think that this is the first pair I bought. In fact, this is the second or in fact, third pair that I bought. This is an all white pair and this is one of the older models. I love these. These are my like kind of dirty shoes. These are the newest version that I picked up. All white. So cute with the embossed Chanel on the back. I then picked up these black ones pretty early on. They're not super different in terms of style but the accessories and the detailing is slightly different but I haven't actually worn these. They're literally brand new. I just don't know what to wear them with. I'm not really a black sneaker kind of girl. Then I also picked up the pink pairs. I have the light wash pink and I've got the bright pink. I also have another pair of like white trainers, my first ever pair, which I did not want to show because they are just disgusting. If I can get my hands on more colors, you know I'll be doing that. So I love these. I picked these up in size 35 and a half. So they're honestly one of my favorite pairs of shoes. They're just very comfortable, very easy to wear. And they don't look as scruffy as a pair of like beaten up Air Force Ones because they've got Chanel on them. Just to clarify, when I was selecting the items for this video, I thought I would bring out shoes which I bought a minimum of three or four in. And a majority of these I've got at least four, so I'm only going to show you the four that I picked out, my favourite four, or like whatever I could just get my hands on. However, all these shoes have been repurchased more than twice or thrice, been able to qualify for this, except for this one pair. So these are the Laura Piana Flexi Walks. I am obsessed with these, and if you are not, you need to take a deep, long look at yourself and ask yourself why you have not tried these on yet because they are beyond comfortable. They are my favorite pair of sneakers for a casual mum vibe and Lululemon's kind of look. They are so comfortable, so lightweight and just so easy to style. I love styling these with like either like a pair of black leggings or like bike shorts, a little Laura Piana cover up, like a bomber jacket, like a little knitted jacket and you're good to go. They're so understated. They're very classic. They're very simple no hardware no kind of like massive logo detailing very understated very simple very me who i'm trying to be i currently only have two pairs but that's because i haven't yet found the third pair that i want i'm still on the hunt alternatively i might just custom create a pair obviously on the topic of laura piana we have the summer charm walks these are my favorite shoes in the whole world and i'm sure you guys know i just can't stop buying these I am obsessed and I'm not just obsessed with them because they are understated, simple and easy to wear. I'm obsessed with them because they are the most comfortable pair of shoes I own. If you want a comfortable pair of smart but not super formal pair of shoes, these are them. Everyone is jumping on this bandwagon and if you haven't yet, why have you not? Don't do it for the trend. Do it because they're a comfortable, elegant pair of shoes. And I say this to everyone. Don't feel bad about buying Laura Piana because everyone's doing it. They're worth it. They are worth every penny. What makes them better is that you can custom order them and personalize them however you want. I actually have another pair arriving, I think tomorrow, which I ordered a few weeks ago and I'm so excited about. I might just take them with me on holiday. They're a color I've always wanted. It wasn't available in store. Next, another pair of shoes I've been buying 
for the longest time, which you guys need to see, Oran sandals. I've actually selected my favorite few pairs, the most frequently worn. So we have the classic in the calf skin. This is not Epsom leather. I prefer the calf skin because they're a supple, soft leather. I don't like buying Oran sandals and wearing them to death until they get to a point where they look disgusting, disheveled, disgusting, and like run over. Like slippers should never be that. It just gives off the complete wrong vibe especially if you're wearing a really nice dress your shoes shouldn't look like they're all beat up it's just not it's not elegant these are my two favorites they're my most worn this is the rose sherazade in croc and this is the oh god i forgot the name of this they are a little bit steep in price for the exotic skins but if you're someone that loves these shoes and wears them often then i would definitely say go for it why not you guys already know this is a frequently worn and bought pair of shoes. In fact, I actually posted a video on my TikTok and someone was like, He's like personal shopper vibes. Thank you so much for assuming I'm a personal shopper. But honestly, guys, I just have a spending problem and a massive addiction to buying shoes and things I don't need. So let's bring on the Amina Muadis. A shoe which I very rarely wear now. I'm not going to lie. I don't really gravitate towards these shoes. I think I bought them because I wanted to have them in every color because I just have an addictive personality like that. So first we have... The unicorn kind of blue purple candy floss shoe, the orange, the PVC in purple, and the dark gray. These are only the Begum slings. I do have the Begums with a full back. These are the ultimate Cinderella shoe. These have been collecting dust. I don't know if you guys can see. I honestly don't wear these enough, but they're kind of collecting dust. I do have the Rosies, which are like a sling back with a different kind of bow detailing. I do have a lot of Amina Moadi shoes. And whilst I did love her shoes, I'm looking for something alternative now. I don't want to keep buying the same shoe if I'm not going to continue wearing it, which is disappointing because I do love the style of the shoe. I love the new colors they come out in, but I'm over the style. I want to move forward and progress because they remind me a little too much of Manolo's but whenever I find an outfit which would match either Manolo's or Amina's I find myself gravitating more towards Manolo's now which is why the next shoe is obviously Manolo Blanex. So here we have four of my most frequently worn Manolo's. We've got a yellow, a hot pink, fuchsia, a green, the emerald green and a beautiful red. The red is one of my most worn pairs. I believe the yellow was one of my first few pairs and the green and the pink are one of my most recent purchases. The green and the pink, and as well as like the yellow and the red, have a different hardware. So the green has the silver hardware, whereas the pink and the other colors have the gunmetal hardware. However, recently Manolo introduced the gold hardware. Personally, it's a no from me, although almost all my bags are gold hardware, and I really struggle with pairing them with like gunmetal or silver hardware shoes. I wouldn't buy the gold versions it's for me right now i wouldn't personally buy those i don't like them right now however saying that maybe in a few years time you'll see me buying them in bulk these are a very popular pair of dior shoes these are the classic jad dior slingbacks in the highest heel height currently i have four pairs this is the nude which actually needs to be taken to the cobbler and get fixed this is the mesh with the crystal detailing the grey, which is like a grey blue, and my most favourite, my most favourite pair, the black. I love these shoes. They are a great pair of shoes. They are the most comfortable pairs of Dior shoes I currently own. I do have the flat version in the nude, and honestly, those make my feet bleed. I wouldn't personally recommend it. If the highest heel height is not for you, then you can opt for the kitten heel. I could actually bring out a selection of kitten heels, literally the exact same colours as these because my mum loves the kitten heels, but personally for me, I love the highest heel. I find them very comfortable and easy to walk in. Definitely would recommend if you do not have these. Go bold, get the crazy colors if you're a topic of kitten heels. I believe these were the first two that I purchased and I love them. They are the little Chanel Slingback kitten heels. This is the most classic pair. I saw these on Amelia and I loved how she wore them. I thought they just looked so cute with like little skirts and dresses as well as like straight crop jeans. So I got these and then I loved them so much that I picked up these. I think I got these at Harrods or either at the airport. These are a great pair of shoes. I also have these two in my personal collection. Of course, my mum has a selection of her own. She loves these so much. She collects them in literally every color, but these four are from my personal collection, which I love to wear. 
the most and would recommend. Purple has been a bit of a difficult color for me, but I love matching these with other Chanel purple items, like the ready to wear. I think they look great. And these also really match my purple classic Chanel bags. Then we have the Chanel sling bag flats. These are my latest addiction, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I love these. I did buy my first pair in green. I believe I got these in can, if I'm not mistaken. I thought these were so beautiful. I love the colors and I'm very excited to get more of these. They're just so great. Tamara told me she has these in purple. I just feel like every girl needs one pair of Chanel classic flats, whether it be the ballet flats or the slingbacks. Here we have the Nike Nike Dunk Lows. So I've got the laser orange, the blue, the off-white pair, and I don't know what this is, like East or something. I don't know what they're called, I don't know the colours, I don't know how like all these like ones sell for like stupid amount of money, but I do know that I like them. <laughs> and they're comfortable they're the perfect pop of color to a very boring outfit so i would definitely recommend these if you can't get the chanel ones or if you can get these at a good retail price then definitely get these they are a great pair of shoes i want more in fact i just got another pair i'll show you those in an unboxing very excited to get those i love these honestly i love these i love wearing these and just like roughing around if i don't feel like screwing up my Chanel ones, I'll wear these. So next we have Renee Calvilla, Calvia, whatever it is. I love his shoes. He makes some fantastic shoes. I want more. They are a little bit steep, but I do want more. I don't feel like I can justify buying more because I don't wear these enough, but I have bought a minimum of three and I've bought like the classic colors which go with almost everything. I do think I need to get the chandelier pair, preferably a pair in all silver. This is silver and blue in the middle and then this is the gold and then this is the black i don't know if you guys can see but there is a difference in the shoe the silver and blue is two-toned it doesn't have the crystals on the front of the toe but it does have crystals going down on the back of the heel i'm not sure which i prefer whether it's the crystals around the toe or the crystals on the heel but i wish they did both in one shoe like why couldn't you make the crystals around the heel as well as the toe why? Why would you just do one? I also have the flat pair in the black, which I don't really wear as much. They're not super comfortable. In fact, I think that this pair is the most comfortable. I can't explain it, but th this pair definitely has more padding around the ankle than this pair does. Now, last but not least, a pair which I do hope to make into a collection of its own, however for now I only have two pairs of, are the Valentino Tangos. I love these, they are such a great pair of shoes, particularly now this whole chunky platform trend is going on. I'm a small girl, I'm gonna live up this moment as much as I physically possibly can, but I love these, they're super high but super comfortable. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to get a pair of my true size, 35 and a half. Both of these are 36. This I've worn to death. These are brand new and have every intention of wearing. I do want to get the peak toe version in white if I can get them somehow. No, I'm obsessed with these. I'm contemplating the crystal version, which I've seen on Instagram, but I feel like it can low key be like super tacky and end up as my Christian Louboutin Strass heels which I don't even touch anymore unless I have to. So I think that summarizes everything. This is like a 20 minute long video. I'm gonna try to cut it down, but I hope you guys enjoy that video. If there are any shoes you have questions about, then drop me a comment down below and I will get back to you. These I've bought a lot of because they're shoes that I wear a lot of. I'm not someone that just buys shoes which look great just to have. I used to do that when I was younger. I would buy shoes just because they look great on my shelf. Now I wanna buy comfortable shoes. Like I was really drawn to the Attico shoes but I know so many girls I've complained about those beautiful Attico mules that I just can't, I can't get myself to buy a pair of shoes I know I'm not gonna wear that are just gonna sit unhappily on my shelf. To summarize, I know there's a lot of flats in here but I'm a flats kind of girl. Even though I'm small, I embrace it. I'm happy being small. I don't have an issue with it. All of these are comfortable. All of these I would 10 out of 10 recommend. You're welcome. I will leave links to whatever I can down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Tap that bell to get notified every time I upload. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.